Hello hockey fans and welcome to Inside the WCHA. I'm Ryan Phelps. You know the drill. You're on social media. We're on social media. Look us up when you get the chance. But during this holiday season, give yourself the gift that keeps on giving all year long and log on to WCHA.TV where you've got the best seat in the house. Live streams from every conference game right in the palm of your hand. Busy weekend with all 10 teams in action in conference. We start in Alaska, Anchorage that is. Fans are having fun. In-state rivals Fairbanks in town and really rude guests. They score 45 seconds in and lead by two early second. On the power play, they work the perimeter. Then Taylor Klein sees a lane. Goalie Olivier Manta can't see a thing. Great screen by Chad Staley and it's three nothing Alaska. They pile it on up five early third. Mantha would get the Nanook hook. Nice puck movement and a low angle beauty by Colton Leader. He and Klein each score a pair in a 7-2 win. Saturday, Mantha back in net for the Seawolves. Midway through the first and Alaska has numbers. Kyler Hope tries to thread one through. It hits off the defenseman and it's a 1-0 game. Late second and it's 2-0. But wait, Jeremiah Lutke forces the turnover. A nice stretch pass to Austin Azurdia. He beats Martinson upstairs and he pulls Anchorage within one. Nice selly. Nanook say, not so fast, my frozen friends. Third period, Seawolves try to clear, but James LaDuce, the wicked wrister, and it's three to one. Anchorage made it a game late, but Alaska earns the sweep and the coveted Governor's Cup once again. Let's get on down to the Sanford Center, Northern Michigan at Bemidji State. Scoreless midway through the first, and the Beavers trying to kill off an Adam Brady major. He's on the naughty list. Wildcats feed the beast. Robbie Payne, one-timer from the circle. That's his league-leading 13th of the year, and it's 1-0. Same score late first. Beavers on the PP this time. And Justin Beaudry says, I see a Payne. Blasts a one-timer of his own through traffic, and that ties the game at one. And that was it. It officially ends a 1-1 tie. But in the three-on-three -three extra OT, a shorthander to boot, Northern Michigan's Jordan Klimek, last week's Defensive Player of the Week, takes it the distance. He's fast. Wildcats get the extra conference point on Friday. But what a difference a day makes. Saturday saw four ties and three lead changes. Great atmosphere. Early second tied at one. Darian Craighead streaking down the left wing wall. That's how you drive the net. Puts it where Grandma keeps the Christmas cookies. Two to one Wildcats. He would score twice tonight. Late third and the Beavers down a goal but with the man advantage. Beaudry the shot from the point and watch Miles Fitzgerald. Out of midair. Call it a Bemidji bunt and we're tied at four. Oh no, don't look now but your sister's holding the mistletoe. Yep, this one ends in a 4-4 tie. And just like Friday, Wildcats earn the extra conference point, this time on a pain penalty shot and a Matthias Israelson save. That's a four-point weekend on the road for Northern Michigan. Our Yuletide tour continues in Ohio. Alabama Huntsville at Bowling Green. Kids are cute. Goalies are weird. Falcons down a goal, down a man late first. Steven Bayless comes in alone, but is stopped by Jordan Uhelski. Threat averted. Guess not. Bayless the spinorama and we're tied at two. That's a falcon riding a Zamboni. Christmas wishes do come true. Still tied early third and it's a rush for the Chargers. Watch Joe Kessner. He zigs, he zags, and he scores. What a play. That's his second of the night. Second straight two goal game for the Huntsville native and UAH is back up a goal. A few minutes later, Bowling Green on the attack. Just flip it to the point. Good things happen when you throw pucks at the net. Connor McDonald throws it in. Where's that mistletoe? 3-3 the final. Fact, in the two years of the new overtime point system, UAH had never earned an extra point. Another festive is miracle. Both Christian Rogic and Brandon Salerno score in the shootout. Back at it on Saturday, Falcons trying to win after a tie just like last week. Time for our weekly Alec Rauser highlight. We're practically best friends. Scoreless in the first and he just overpowers from the circle and BG is up 1-0. Same score late first, this will look familiar. A wrister from the point by Connor McDonald and it gets through. 2-0, Bayless would add another in the 3-1 win. They held the Chargers to just 12 shots on the night. Let's hop on over to Houghton. Michigan Tech back on home ice for the first time in a month. Man, they have fun there. I'm sitting in a cube. Ferris State goaltender Justin Kappelmaster, he's a Grinch. 
wants to ruin the Husky homecoming. Defense helps too. A block shot leads to a rush the other way. A lot of these this weekend. A shot from the circle and Cole Norris makes it two to one Bulldogs. They'd add another to take a 3-1 lead into the third. Tech pulls within one, looking to tie it up midway through the final frame. Great four check by Jake Jackson. Finds Brent Baltus who sends a rocket and it's three to three. The celebration was short lived. Ferris State power play, Riker Killens with a shot from the point, Mitch Maloney the tip, and Andrew Durantes knocks it in after a beautiful bulldog bounce. But how about Kappelmaster crushing? FSU gets the 4-3 win despite getting outshot 48-25 in game one. It was a much different story Saturday. Tech rookie Robbie Baydoon gets the nod. He gets beat early once, but that was it. Huskies on fire in the second, tied at one. Devin Gould in the giving mood. Sweet toe drag, but he loses it. Instead, it's gift wrap for Jake Lucchini, and Tech is up two to one. They finally solve Kappelmaster as five different Huskies score, including Alex Smith. Five won the final. Baydoon, mobbed by his teammates, gets his first career victory in the split. Our final stop is in Sault Ste. Marie. Eighth ranked Minnesota State in town wearing black, looking mean. They were mean. But it's Lake Superior State who starts the scoring. Remember what I said earlier, just throw it on net. Hoppus Erickson after a defensive zone steal does just that. Takes a funny hop past Jason Pulaski and the Lakers have a one nothing lead. Spoiler alert, that was their only goal of the weekend. Same score early second, Nicholas Rivera just out of the penalty box. He leads the charge, shoots slow. Jared Spooner tips it past Nick Kossoff and we're tied at one. Zeb Knutson had a night. Still in the second, Mavericks up a goal. Look at that pass, tape to tape and Knutson finishes and it's three to one. He wasn't done. Same score, same period. Mavericks on the power play. Knutson drops it off for Jake Jeremko like a bull in a china shop. It's kicked in by the Laker defender and it's four to one. They score five in the second period, five different goal scores. Daniel Brickley gets the fifth in a 5-1 final. More of the same Saturday, but hey, at least we've got a Sea Duck Santa. Knutson gets on the board again. Mavericks score four power play goals. Ian Scheid gets one of his two with the extra man. Parker Tume would also score a pair. MSU wins by a touchdown. They outscore the Lakers 12 to one on the weekend. Connor LeCouvier makes 13 saves for his first collegiate shutout. A big weekend leads to big hardware for the Mavericks. They get three of four. Our offensive player of the week, Minnesota State senior Zeb Knutson. He racked up a WCHA best five points, tied for the second most nationally as he pumped in two goals and three assists, helping the now number seven Mavericks to a league road sweep at Lake Superior State. Our defensive player of the week is M. MSU junior Daniel Brickley, who registered a goal and three assists for four points, best among WCHA defensemen, and tied for tops nationally. The goalie of the week is Alaska's Anton Martinson. The sophomore backstopped the Nanooks to a road sweep against in-state rival Alaska Anchorage. He was the only WCHA goaltender to earn two wins last weekend with 41 saves and a .911 save percentage. Back to Mankato for our Rookie of the Week, that's Jake Jeremko. He led WCHA rookies and tied for tops nationally among freshmen with four points last weekend, recording a goal and three assists in a big sweep against the Lakers. Coming up this week, two in Michigan, two in Minnesota. Lake State stays in state as they travel to Tech. Ferris State moves to Marquette. The Seawolves are in Bemidji and UAH is at MSU. That'll do it for this week. We have one more show before a short holiday break. In the meantime, look us up on Twitter, Instagram, and on Facebook. But most importantly, give the best gift to that special hockey fan in your life and sign them up for WCHA.TV, where they come to play, we come to watch. Enjoy any game on any device. Thanks again for joining us. Until next time, I'm Ryan Phelps saying so long from St. Paul.